In this video, I want to show you a simple problem that I encountered when I was working on a slightly advanced uh, LOD calculation where I was trying to calculate uh, some numbers by excluding certain date dimensions. It was not working. So in order to really figure out what was going on, so I set up a simple uh, data set which just has 10 values so that I can just visu by visually looking at it, I can do the calculation. So here is the problem. So I have a year and month and then I have each of this at the view granularity. Um, and then just I did the first uh, LOD uh, by excluding the joint date itself, which excludes both these bills. Uh, hence, I get a global sum of salary, which is 75,000. This is equivalent to this single global expression. So irrespective of whatever is in the view, this, this can work as a fixed expression. So which is exactly this one. So then what I tried to do was I just wanted the next number which is yearly. For example, in 2011, I have two months, 6, 000, January and March, 6 plus 6, I want to see 12,000 here. So by naturally excluding the month here, so I wanted to get that. But what was surprising was this exclude expression was not working. So my first thought was, why don't I uh, create uh, maybe a calculated field, whether that has an impact. Uh, so what I did was I created a calculated field like this and I tried to use this. In situations like this, I start off by just creating a temp, temp variable. So I'm just going to call this a temp and keeping exactly the same expression and I would just add that also to the view so we can see now I at least want this temp to produce 12,000 here. So my first natural thought was okay so instead of this one so let me use the field I created which is the join month itself whether that makes a difference. I apply no difference so this does not seem to be working. So then I went around trying to figure out whether Tableau would give me some uh, idea. So in the article on LOD, they were using some exclude expressions and it was pointing to using custom date. So I, when I looked at it, they are using this dialog. So I was thinking maybe uh, this is uh, a slightly different way of doing. Let me check it out. So I created this join date months uh, field by just going here, creating a custom date. Um, selecting the months here and then selecting date part so that's what I get here just to show you so if I do describe you can see this is the formula it is using so then I thought so let me use the field provided by Tableau itself so and I go here and then use that new field and that is also not working so at this point I was uh, quite surprised so I said so what's really happening what's the month field here how is that calculated so I check the formula here so date part so if I put it here and then I right click here and then show you the formula which is used here and putting them side by side you can see they, it is exactly the same so it didn't seem to work so maybe I thought if I just port this itself directly into the, my equation, maybe would that work? So I created this and then instead of any of the custom things that I have done, I put that thing itself and then I saw now it started working. So then I started reasoning. Okay, so whatever is in the field, it has to be exactly the same here. So if, if it's a field automatically Tableau is creating, by just double clicking here, we would be able to get this. Uh, so this, this is what I figured out. So if I have even a different one, for example, in order to make this thing work uh, instead of this thing, so I could command this out. If I want to make this thing work, so if I say apply here, now it's going back to the wrong value. But instead of whatever I'm excluding here, if I bring that over here, so now that number seems to be working. So Tableau is uh, comparing maybe just the field name um, itself if you are using any of these uh, fixed fields. If you are using an ad hoc expression like this, then it is matching by the, the full formula itself. So this was something at least for me surprising. 
um, and I, I learned. Uh, so all these other experiments create in these specific fields, they are not really required. Uh, and the best way is probably if, if I'm going to use this kind of analysis is to double click on this, get the value and make it work like this. So that's all I wanted to share.